It's interesting, in 1935, there were 3,500 dairymen in McLean County. And in 1955, there were 350. And today, there are seven. That is Ray Ropp, one of those seven dairymen remaining in McLean County, and milking his 70 head of Jersey cows with wife Carol and their adopted son and daughter. Uh, but the kids get to be part of the work, and that's what I loved, is we were always doing chores together, and they'd come home from on the school bus and c go out and do chores with us. Well, we're a very small operation, and we really couldn't exist two families here with, with a farming operation that we have. We only farm 430 acres, and we have a 70 cow herd. And uh, when my son came back to join me in the year 2000, uh, we had to think of some ideas to enhance our income so that it would support two families. And hence we're doing the cheese. Our sons, he does most of the management of the cheese operation while I still do most of the management of the farming and, and dairy operation. And the cheese enterprise insulated the Rop Dairy from ill economic winds. But fortunately, since we started making cheese in, in 2006, uh, we have the ability to maintain the price that we're selling our cheese for. And uh, so uh, that gives us the ability to withstand some of these steep price changes that the dairy industry is facing right now. And Rob says future success depends upon relationships with consumers. They like working with and knowing who the ownership is. And uh, that gives us the, uh, an inside track on, on our marketing. That's our Harvest Heritage Report. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.